Hey Blended Family, Dwayne and I were out for another video downtown to bring to you and today we ended up coming across a free Palestine rally. So a lot of the Palestinian group is down here today in front of the Peace Tower in downtown Ottawa. So we're going to take a walk over, check out what's going on. Still standing 
for the judges and right right the Palestinian people. Every day, we hold that so that someone has to have to have to have to So we heard two days ago that the Israeli uh, occupation forces decided to step out of Gaza uh, and uh, to cease fire uh, the Palestinian cities. Although this has been new and new, now a lot of people are celebrating we have the right to write. We need to understand that we're not, we're not looking, that's not what we're looking for, we're not looking for ceasefire. We're looking for a cease to the occupation. We're looking for a cease to the occupation. We're looking for a cease to the occupation. So, basically, it's not showing that since 1946 until now, the Israeli government has come in that's what where Israeli was the wife, and now over the last number of years, the Israelis have come in and taken over all their land. And right now, right now, So this was 1946. This is Palestine in gray and Jewish owned land in white. And with the UN plan that came into effect in 1947, it allocated 53% of the land to the Jewish majority state and 47% to the Palestinians. And between 1949 and 1967, Israeli came in again in white, taking over most of the Palestinian land, leaving Palestine with a very small portion. And now the current day basically is the reverse of what it was in 1946. I just want to share something with you. So they're saying that it's similar to what happened to the Aboriginals here in Canada, where settlers came and took over their territory. This is what is 11 years old. This is what Amir told save the children. I'm 11 years old and I've lived through three wars and I've had friends kill them. The hardest thing at the moment is that the Israeli army bombs all night long so we can't sleep. Today they threatened to bomb the building near our home and we got really scared. My uncle's family had to come and shelter here. We started looking for places to hide, and all the young children started to cry. My little sister started to cry. The electricity goes out when they're bothering us, and because we're so afraid, we all stay in one room. I wish that the world could know how unsafe we are in Gaza. Palestinian children deserve to live in safety and to be able to achieve their dreams. Let us all honor this kid. Let us all honor Amir. Let us all honor the Palestinian children that are being killed under the hand of the Israeli government. I have a few other points, but just for the sake of time, I'll move on to the next uh, uh, part of the uh, schedule. We have Mark Mason. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. She's going to sing us the Malta National Anthem. Yeah. Yeah.
under the guise of aiding Israeli self-defense, which in and of itself is a ridiculous claim. We cannot be supporters of peace and then send boats full of tools for murder. We all stand here united today to urge you, Prime Minister, to re reconsider your stance and to, have, to help make real change towards peace in Palestine. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for coming on. So I heard that he said that, you know, we call Palestine home. But most of us here also call Canada home. And Canada has always been a leader for human rights. Always. But today, we are not proud Canadians. We are not proud Canadians. Until this government takes action against what's happening in Palestine, we are not proud Canadians. <laughs> shame, shame, Trudeau. Shame, shame, Trudeau. Shame, shame, Canada. Shame, shame, Canada. Next up, we have uh, Ami Abu Mumam, Palestinian uh, Canadian poet. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm proud that all the audience are uh, uh, young, young girls, young boys, and I'm very, very happy. I'm a very old man. I uh, am suffering all the Palestinian issue since my birth, till now, 60 years old and the Palestinian is 73 years old and uh, we are here to struggle for free Palestine free free Palestine free free Palestine free free Palestine, free, free Palestine. Uh, I wrote uh, two poems in Arabic and I will uh, introduce to them to you Sorry for that, for the convenience. Uh, all of you, you, you saw in the media the little baby who was took from the bombing on Gaza. The little baby. Only baby from all the family. This baby is one of my relatives. And I'm very, it touches my, my, my heart. And I read, I wrote a, a poem about his feelings to his ظلام الموت حل على الوجود وقد بات الأحبة في اللحود وها أنا دونهم أمسيت وحدي فهل مثلي رأيتم من وحيدي فهل مثلي رأيتم من وحيدي وهل سيطيب عيش أو بقاء لهذا الطفل يا آل الحديد في سفرم حديدي فامني وهل من بعدكم وهل من بعدكم يا ويح قلبي ستعتق بالشبا يوما ورودي وهل سيمر دهري في سلام وقد أقصيت عن عيش بغيد أبي أبي أمي أخي أختي رحلكم ولي لم يبق منكم من سنين ولي منكم لم يبق من سنيدي ألوذ به ويحضرني بصدر ويمسح دمعتي فوق الخدود أناديهم أناديهم فما سمعوا ندائي فقد رحلوا إلى قبر بعيد ومات وماتوا بعد أن كانوا بقربي وصاروا لحت نفسي كالحصيد فيا للهول من نار ستصلى فؤادي ثم تحرق لي وريدي إلى رب السماء فوضت أمري وليس لي سواه من في كربي عظيدي 
ila rabbi samai tawattu amri wa laysa li siwahu fi qalbi adhimi fa ya rabbal wujud anthai nadi'an yu'ani yawm min karb shadid wa khud haqqi wa kun ya rabbu awni ila hal kawmi dal arsh al majid this is the first one for an I represent the feelings of this baby when he is grown up and he didn't find, he will not find his family with him. I represent his feeling when he is grown up.
Ito ko sure to. Alright, it's really a crazy day in the city today. It's time to go home. Thanks for watching.